This show might sound familiar, but it looks very different. Uh, I'm Brian Summers, one third of Shootin' With Shooters. Yo, what's up, man? It's Dio, a.k.a. The Art Hype, a.k.a. Mr. Hype, one third of Shootin' With Shooters. Pow, pow. Yeah, got me right here. Yo, this is I am James Anthony, one third of Shooting with Shooters, and we're back in front of you, live in your face. In the past, we would just be talking to a microphone, but now we have this camera right here that I can be talking to. I don't know if it's a third wall kind of thing because everybody's doing Zoom calls and everything, and you want to look at the screen and you know look at somebody's face, right? Um, so it's going to be a lot of this, you know. But when we do breaks, we're going to be talking to you, the listener and the viewer. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to look at my guys right here and my guest. Um, and speaking of guest. We don't really have a lot of guests on Shooting with Shooters, but on this episode, we do. This episode and four more are about a particular project that we did in DC, a joint project at Union Market, celebrating melanin and black heritage. Uh, myself, along with four other photographers, submitted photos, five apiece, to Union Market and had them installed throughout the whole district. Um, so without further ado, I want to welcome Jeremy Ives, also known as Jive Shot via Instagram. Guys, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here amongst all of you. Thanks. Yo, a lot of y'all uh, first time listeners and whatnot and viewers, uh, you, might, you might not know that in the beginning stages of Shooting With Shooters, we had a few loyal uh, listeners, some people were in-house um, <laughs> uh, studio audiences of one, shout out to Ron. Uh, but Jeremy is another one who was always in there, always asking questions, always giving us, you know, giving us shit whenever we didn't have a show coming out, whenever we came right back, you know, or, you know, whatnot. But I'm definitely glad that you're like, here on this show. Left. Like uh, y'all never left. Like y'all never left. Hey, never, never left. Because we are still here. We <laughs> are accountability partners, so that, that's what's up. Yo, what's up, Jeremy? How you feel? Man, I feel good, dude. I feel real good. Yo, tell me about that hoodie you got on real quick. Man, this hoodie, dude, let me tell you something. So, like, COVID started, uh, and three days before COVID started, me and a couple friends opened up a studio in D.C. called The Dojo. Um, and we have, a, we have a, a guy that's, like, a face guy for it. He, he's a guy that talks a lot. He, he's a guy that enjoys being in the spotlight. Uh, you know, he is, he's got, like, 13 different names. So, uh, Dao Kosoko, the art hype, I'll, I'll let you take it from there. But, no, nah, it's, a, it's a little studio that we opened in D.C., little. Um, and it's been a lot of fun so far been a lot of fun so far awesome bro that's what's up congrats on that that joint adventure guys congrats on that that's that's uh that's how you oh, it's all love it's appreciated yeah. shout, shout out to kanye's best our, our business partner and the guy that literally built this studio from the ground up so if y'all are in dc uh, by all means tuesday nights come to be a part of the community like i said i wanted to get into this actual project uh while we're here um, but before we get into that, Jeremy, just uh, just give us a little bit of background about yourself, man. It's like, where are you from? When, what, are you? What, what did you shoot with? <laughs> okay, all right. So, like, Team Nikon Fuji in the house, you know what I'm saying? Like, mirrorless and, and DSLR both. Um, but no, who am I? Uh, you know, Jeremy Ives. Uh, I grew up in upstate New York in the Adirondacks. I, I grew up shooting, you know, landscapes and falls and just mountains half of my life. Um, but you know, I, I've been way of New York, Albany, Philadelphia, um, and PG County, you know, down in Maryland, the mother state now. So it's been a good journey. Welcome. We welcome you, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, oh, thank you guys. Virtual hugs. Where's my mask? <laughs> right. Where's your mask? Right. <laughs> Right. Well, Jeremy, you know, I definitely met you during one of those, you know, initial Shooting With Shooters episodes at Dial's house. And since then, you know, I've seen you and Dial work uh, two studios. Um, and, you know, actually, I've seen you go through, I guess it was what it was O Street and it was it was two other names. Um, but you guys had the dojo nights on Tuesdays. And once you left that last studio on, on, on O Street, you now have the dojo in Capitol Heights. 
uh, which is a dope place. I love going there. Um, but one thing that I like about your work before you even get into it, like start showing people what, what, what we have. One thing I always admired about it was um, your uh, attention to detail to like tech. Um, so when I, when, I, when I say that, I mean, you are somebody that I can like call for uh, numbers on like lights, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not somebody that can say, Oh, put this on this stop and, you know, bump this up, bump this down. Like you can go on about that. And I think that's always cool. And it shows through your work. Um, and when that, when I, when I got the call to submit work to you, you in your market, um, it was, it was a short notice thing, but I wanted to pull people that, you know, I, I knew had work, um, that was impactful, um, something that you could see on the side of a building and, you know, feel, feel that, uh, emotion from it. Um, and the contrast in your shots, I thought was always great. Um, but, uh, like I said, we'll get into that, um, as we pop up some, uh, shots, but, uh, definitely you were one person that were, I was thinking about what that could complete that whole, you know, five initial artists to, to go, to go, go up on the wall. Um, man, it's, a, it's appreciated, dude. I, I appreciate the thought, uh, without words and to see, to see my work up on, on walls, I think is, I mean, like that, we talk about it all the time, like the importance of like printing your work and seeing your work, touching and feeling your work. Um, uh, you know, whether it's the pictures of my kids or, uh, my son and my father, like, like have my kids stand in front of the wall and see themselves, I think is something that, you know, you can attest to yourself, by it. it's just a really cool feeling. So I thank you for that. Yeah. That brings me to the next point, you know, we, so to backtrack, we all, everybody in this, in this call right now, or everybody on here right now has work up in your in, in market, but this episode is about you. Um, but we can all, you know, speak on or, you know, relate to the feeling of having to work up there and all being people that are either from or have lived in the DMV area for a while. Once again, this project was called Celebrating Melanin and Black Heritage. Um, so everybody submitted five images, but I want to talk more to you about the selection process. How'd you pick the photo? Um, <laughs> man, so like, uh, so I think what I, what I wanted to do first was just kind of represent, represent what I see in my work, right? So, um, you know, three of the photos are from a project that I have going on right now called No Middle. Um, you know, we opened up the studio, I, I quit my job. You know, I quit my career to go full time in photography uh, about a week before COVID, like officially began. Um, and I had a, I had this plan of doing this editorial type copy book with my kids in different in different scenes, right? And, and I quickly pivoted to that wasn't a possibility for 2020. Uh, maybe that's not a possibility for 2021 either. Um, but you know, I, I got inspired by uh, by by a white hikey white and black artist that I saw. Um, and I just asked how I could like kind of make that my own, right? Um, how I could do it, use a different light setup, how I could have a different key signature um, on the lighting effect, if you will. Um, so three, three of the prints that are in the series are from that. Um, and I just had those readily av available. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had my kids. So both of my kids, not just my son, because I have two. And I have to be fair about that, right? Because I love both my kids equally when you guys are watching this. Look at the um, screen, man. Look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love those people. Uh, but no, I wanted to make sure I had my kids in there. I wanted them to be able to see it. And then the third one um, of Amanda is, we'll get into it, but that's kind of one of the dojos, one of, one of the first dojos that we had at the last studio. Um, so for me, like, it, it just kind of marked uh, a transition and a progression to the amount of time that I spent in the studio to try to figure stuff out. Um, and then an end product that I was I was happy with, and I think it kind of represents where our studio uh, originated from as well. Indeed, so, indeed. I know, bro. So a lot of these I know you said were shot probably at the dojo. So Daya, you I mean I'm I'm assuming you might you might might have been there, you know, during some of these. Uh yeah, man. I think it's pretty cool that you know, I Jeremy and I Jeremy and I work very closely. So um, and, and Jeremy especially early on at the old studio, like Jeremy was shooting a lot. So, um, and now more than ever, you know, Jeremy is, is, is on fire right now. And I think one thing about the studio space is that whenever someone's working on something, you know, it's, it's the mentality that we have in the community as well. Um, the true essence of shooting with shooters, you know, capture the photographer as he's capturing the subject. BTS, 
you know, catch us in our element. And those are all things we try to provide for each other. So yeah, I've been, I've been at a lot of these shoots with Jeremy. I've seen him in action. I've recorded him and you know, it's, you know, at the same time as we're working with people, we're also learning and picking up stuff ourselves. So, you know, and that's the community. That's the whole point of, of this. Indeed. 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 You know, one, I mentioned, I mentioned light, you know, so, you know, we can talk more about like style and like, like the choice. Obviously we talked about the choice of images that you chose for, that's redundant, <laughs> choice of images that you chose. For, <laughs> uh, well, talk, the choice of images that you chose for the Exactly. <laughs> 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 so you speak more to about like like, like the, uh, the style of some of these shots I mean what some of these actually look like you know like uh was the the shot of the young uh the gentleman in the suit he actually goes by what the creative gentleman correct yeah that's my friend brother. yeah O'Neal that, 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 that's our brother I mean technically that as well you know he's he's one of the members of the he's one of our residents at the studio uh, and, and what Dow talks about, you know, being there to, to capture behind the scenes. You know, I had a shoot today and, and he came in for five minutes. He was with his camera and then I walk out and he had a reel for me ready to go. Mm. So I think it's kind of like how you, how we as a team work to uplift each other. Um, but yeah, so like you want to look at that, you want to look at that picture first. So yeah, we, I got that up right now and I, I, I'm looking at that because of the style aspect of it and i'm thinking literally style and stylist um I, I was at a shoot once with him and he was assisting with you know style input he was actually a model as well so you know i'm curious some some of these shots look like you worked with stylists you know or were very intentional like the shot with your son and your father-in-law very intentional to have them wearing uh you know trad um and again you like you're your son and your daughter, you know, it looks really, you know, chill and formal, but your light, your light looks like you set it up, but you have your children here yeah. you know, in a really so, so, so let's Yeah, let's talk about that one. So my mom came to visit, right? And I, I think like as parents, like, as parents, like we have the, we have the ability to freeze time, right? And, and we come back and look at these pictures we took of our kids, like two years down the, lo down the road and I look back and I say, I don't even know who these children are. Like, I don't recognize my own children um, because it's so long ago. So I think first we have to appreciate the opportunity that we have to wake up and be parents. We have to appreciate the, the skill that we have to be able to freeze time and freeze, you know, these moments that we have with them. But I literally just had a, uh, I had a flash on the end of a monopole and I'm holding the monopole and resting it on my hip so that I can get, you know, that 45 down angle live. Mm -hmm. And then I just have my camera in my left hand and I'm taking a picture with my off hip. Like we were walking inside and my son wanted to stop and play with his toy. Mm -hmm. But I think like those are the type of moments that like I would never remember that moment. And I'm just so happy that I do, you know? Yeah. No, I can, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, the light I was just holding. I'm just holding it up here and, and hoping that some of the light That's uh, hit them. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't always have people that there, you know, to hold the light and be like, yo, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Yeah, just keep it right there a little bit higher. How many takes, how many takes did it take for you to get one that you really liked? Uh, I don't think, I think I, I got lucky, you know. I, I think it was one picture. But they were going inside. I'm, I'm sure that three seconds after that, they were like running and jumping on stairs or something like that. I, I was know. about to say, are your kids like, you know, when they see you pull out the camera, they're like, ah, oh, again. <laughs> so so they used to right and then um i got my son a camera so now like my son like i have pictures so isaiah has pictures from lonnie's birthday party or from soji's birthday party the other day on his camera uh, <laughs> i love that nice. i love that so they get it now now they'll pose up but uh yeah, a year ago it was it was just chasing them and they, they said that's way to bond with your kids and to, to find out what their passions are it's like whatever you're interested in if you like cooking cook with your kids they'll have an affinity for you yeah. know with their palate will be uh, broadened so yeah the fact that you got your son a camera is dope that's dope it's just funny i'm thinking i'm imagining zay just dumping his camera off to you like hey dad i need my edits by friday yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i need my edits by show and tell yeah. get it right hey, man, you know around, man. we gotta be like hey man Get on it, Daddy. Has like, a look, sa look, savvy, savvy is doing our Peppa Pig app swiping. I'm like, yes, keep swiping. That's fundamentals for Lightroom. <laughs> I 
<laughs> gonna be swiping with this with this <laughs> with this brush. Yeah, yeah real 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 quick. I, I went to a wedding a couple years ago and it's a whole family, right? And I should know who they are. I don't have their screen names or their name, but there were six people and you would watch them run around with lights on the dance floor and like little kids, right? And we get to the we get to the wedding wedding because we went we had gone to the tread too. And long story short, they already had all the prints done. They had the wedding books done. They had everything done at the wedding because they they bring printers in, get a separate room, and the kids edit and print everything out where the parents shoot. And I was like, that's uh, next level. That's, yeah, that's, that's a different different level to uh, family business. At the Nigerian uncles. Every, every, everybody was doing it. Man, right, they got right. it. They had it down. Everything, man. Be like, how many nieces and nephews I have? Listen. About to, about to make this work. You better go to work. <laughs> but to make this work. <laughs> Like, as far as seeing your work up on the on the wall at you know for this union uh market project has it inspired you in any other ventures as far as like for for growth as far as uh you know because this 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 whole project for the a lot of us it presented an opportunity for us to get prints out you know so for you yeah. has this sparked anything for you to like uh start just any anything else as far as selling more prints or 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 actually having an exhibit somewhere else? Yeah, I think I think first it gave me I think it gave me a lot of confidence, right? I mean, like people like your pictures, they comment on them pictures. You have clients that want you to do work and and all this stuff, and that's great, um, and it's appreciated. But to to have someone that you respect appear, say, hey, I want you to be a part of this project that we have, um, and then to be able to actually see it, yeah, I think it gives you a lot of confidence. From a business aspect, I think it forced me to uh, to really rethink how I positioned an online marketplace and how I made it easy for people to purchase my work. Um, and probably move that past these five pictures, but start taking a look at what I have to offer from you know my portfolio to people. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, I think it made me look at business a, a few different ways, um, and I think it, it it gave me a level of confidence that I probably didn't have you know prior. Nice. nice. We had a chance to walk around and do a, a photo walk right before the un unveiling of the installation. Obviously, it's COVID going on right now. And to be honest, an outdoor mural project seems like the best art show right now for us. Um, but uh, we had a chance to see people interacting with our work. Um, and I know that you said this is one of your first like like actual like ventures in like printing um, your work, especially at, at, at this scale. How did that feel for you? To see people appreciate your work in real time is pretty awesome. So I remember we, we were across looking at Ashley's work and Brian, me and you look back at the, the wall across the street where my kids are. And I saw a family that, you know, definitely doesn't look like my family stop. And the kids are looking at this and the kids are like, you know, like they're playing with toys. Like I have toys. And I just think that, you know, the ability to tell a story with your work um, and have that resonate with people, whether they're our age or, or my kid's age, uh, that was really cool to see. Um, or just, you know, the, to see people tag your work on Instagram and, and reshare the, the stuff that you have up. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Has it, um, has, has it given you any, any more, uh, inspiration or thoughts to, to like another project like this or like just like looking for like the next wheat pace and opportunity or looking at billboards now and just large scale work? Yeah, I mean, I, I would love to do it. If anybody's out there with opportunities, you know, shower them our way, you know, to all of us. But um, yeah, I think it, it made me refocus on the project that I'm doing now and just kind of rethink about, you know, what kind of reach, uh, the totality of what that story looks like. And then uh, from a medium aspect, how I deliver that story. Um, I think it's, it's, it's done a lot to align me in, in what, what I'm doing moving forward. Yeah, so, so during, during, um... I mean, this project was amazing, first and foremost, for everybody that's been involved. And, and Jeremy, we've had some, a lot of different conversations in regards to the project. But I mean, the reality of the project is that, you know, it's gone up on the back, on the heels of, you know, some major things happening in the country. Um, you know, obviously the, the death of uh, George Floyd, that caused mass uh, rioting and, and, and different things going on in the country, led for... I want to say this new movement of, 
you know, yeah, hey, we're still here. You know, Black Lives still matter. Um, things are still going on. In the midst of somebody dying, we had the second brother that got uh, shot. So, and I'm sorry, Jacob Blake, say their name. Um, how was it to create something that you knew was going to be seen within this climate of um, civic, civil, civil unrest as well as COVID? So, you know, all these dynamics and we're, we're putting out pieces that we know people are going to see. We know people are going to, um, going to equate to other things happening in the world. How, how was that whole process in your mind? Is your selection process and just with your personal feelings now? Yeah, I mean, and, and we talk about DC too, right? Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be one person to say that I'm from DC from the area. Um, but like when we look at what's happening with the demographics of DC, um, and, and all the subjects that we put on, put on our, all the subjects that we have in our pictures that we put up on these walls. Uh, I think we're telling a story of like who our community is, how we see our community, right? And I think that, um, I think at the end of the day, it's really important for us to tell our story um, and to tell the story of our community. So, you know, when you ask about selection process, you know, I, I've got my, both of my kids who are from PG County. I, Amanda, who's from Baltimore. I have O'Neill, who's from the area. O'Neal, um, I have Yogi, who, who grew up in, in PG County. Uh, so to take a look at subjects that are all doing different things in this area, um, have them in the nation's capital, um, that, that's going through a major shift. I, I just think it's really important that, you know, we have image, positive images of our, our community for everybody to see. Indeed. Def I definitely believe in... Um art reflecting life and after that you yeah. get a chance to like choose if you want to imitate it or not Ooh, okay that's true <laughs> gotta drop a little gem every now and then hey, look, man. drop your gems drop your gems <laughs> Jeremy, drop some gems for us drop some oh, gems for y'all man I'm, I'm i'm just over here trying to trying to scoop up what you guys have left over that's it uh <laughs> Jeremy, I'm just trying to pick up what y'all got. I'm about What's to say, that? Jeremy, you let us let the people know where they can find your work on a regular basis. Oh, oh yeah, regular basis. So, um, driveshot.com. Um, you can do everything from book me to to buy prints to um, uh, to check out my portfolio. So, you know, please go go check it out. Sign up for the newsletter. See what's going on. Uh, you'll get all the info from the dojo there too. Um, or drive shot, you know, at J I V E dot S H O T. Um, you know, episode two eleven uh, <laughs> of the week uh, winner. Um, so you know, just long time loyal fan. There is a long yeah. time listener and referencing some of our older episodes. So we appreciate you, brother, for that for that nostalgia. Uh, my my last question for you, Jeremy, is just um, how can people support you? How can people? Um, you know, support what you got going on and, and, you know, you know, align with you. What, how, how can people do that with you? Um, you know, engage, engage, come to the dojo, check a dojo night out, come and meet, come and meet all of us. Um, book me, uh, <laughs> book me, oh, there we go. book me. Say, yeah. So go to my website, hit book <laughs> me, and then just, you know, drop, drop the gems, the bags, the dimes, all that stuff. Um, best way to support and just send me nice things. Like if you uh, got nice things, send them to me. That's cool. Take that too. Cool. All right, all right. Well, Jeremy, I'm glad you finally got a chance to be on the show and not be in the audience, or you know. So now we get a chance to look forward to saying, "Hey, remember that episode of Shooting with Shooters with Jeremy? It was uh four oh two. I just want to say thank you to you guys, right? So Brian, I really appreciate it again. Uh, thanks for including me in the project that you did. Uh, really glad to be on y'all show. Um, James, Dio, uh, Brian, thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, bro. Oh. All right. And uh, definitely, uh, before we go, shout out to Union Market, shout out to Ali, shout out to Jennifer and Jody, and everybody who's always been, you know, very supportive of uh, my work and reached out to me so that I can then extend it to the community. Um, so you can check us, you can check out more from Shooting with Shooters. Uh, on podcast platforms as well as YouTube now. So we'll drop all the information here and follow and stay tuned. Thanks again for watching this episode of Shooting with Shooters. I'm Brian Summers. I'm Dayo Kosoko. 
I'm James Anthony. And this is... Shoot! Shoot! We back, baby! <laughs>